Hello there and a very warm welcome to another edition of Channels Beam. I am Victor Mathias. With barely a month to the 2019 general elections, an avenue have been created for candidates to engage each other with regards to the policies they intend to implement when elected into office, in addition to what they do at their rallies. And this time it was one for presidential candidates of a select few, carefully chosen based on the criteria set by the Nigerian Election Debate Group and the Broadcasting Organizations of Nigeria. However, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Muhammad Buhari, and his main challenger from the People's Democratic Party, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, were absent at the debate. But shortly after the debate started, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, kept his social media page busy. First, he released different sets of pictures to prove to Nigerians that he was ready for a debate but would not just participate in the exercise. Then the following set of tweets followed. First, he said, quote, We came here for a presidential debate, not a candidacy debate, and I, Atiku Abubakar, cannot challenge or question an administration where the man at the helm of affairs of the nation is not present to defend himself or his policies. Hashtag 2019 debate. And his last message reads, I, however, challenge President Buhari to choose a date and time for a debate where he will be present and I will be there hopefully with the other candidates as well. Thank you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. End of quote. Well, the messages were copied from the verified Twitter account of the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. For President Muhammad Buhari's campaign team, they also gave reasons for his absence at the debate. A statement by the Director of Strategic Communications of the APC Campaign Council, Mr. Festus Kayamo, says the president had taken the full advantage of another town hall meeting organized by another group which held on Wednesday, January the 16th, where he was asked uncensored questions. The statement says, quote, The busy and hectic official and campaign shuttles of Mr. President clashed with this program. Mr. President commissioned the Barrow Inland Water Port in Niger State and campaigned in Niger and Plateau states where his time was overstretched by the tumultuous and mammoth crowds in both states and only returned to Abuja late this evening. End of quote. The statement adds that the APC campaign team will continue to hold the debate groups and Nigerians in high esteem, but frowned at comments by the PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar, who refused to debate because of President Buhari's absence. It says now that Atiku Abubakar had a unique opportunity to explain to Nigerians his own vision and mission without a President Buhari in the picture, he ran away. Now, that will be our focus on the program today. But let's first take a moment to see what made the trends in the past week. As it is a tradition yearly, Nigerians were united in celebrating soldiers defending the territorial integrity of the country. While some are alive to see how appreciative Nigerians are, others have fallen in battle and were also duly remembered posthumously. Nigerians could not help but react to the visit by former Vice President Atiko Bubakar to the United States of America after 12 years. While some argue that he quells any claims of a corruption charge in the states, others maintain that he still will answer the alleged charges someday. Well, there you go. Those were the trends in the past week. But joining us to look at the topic of the day, we have Adim Miwa Taufik. He joins us. Oh, of course, he's in the studio with us. Yes, he's the Lagos State Coordinator of the Buhari New Media Center. And we also have um, Ugochiku Wikako. Thanks as well for join, joining us on the program. Thank you for uh, You're a member of the PDP. Uh, obviously, one of the trends we didn't see out there 
uh, was the 10 year challenge. I mean, did you guys participate in that as well? Yes, I did. <laughs> you right. did? I, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? I, I didn't. All right, very well then. I'll probably have to check yours after the show. Approved. But we also have joining us on the Google Plus Hangout. Um, we have uh, Molua Shon Ashu, who joins us from Lagos, Nigeria. Shon, thanks for joining us on the program. He's a public affairs analyst. Thank you, Victor. Very well. So let me start with you. I mean, how disappointed would you say you were um, to find out that the two leading candidates in the 2019 presidential elections were absent at the debates organized by the end, uh, by the, of course, by the broadcasting organizations of Nigeria? Okay, so for me, um, I would say that I was highly disappointed. Um, let me take it from the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar. Because um, I, in my own opinion, I feel that everything that happened there yesterday, him being there, was scripted. Because um, I, I, I won't believe that someone of that level will not have an hint about if the president will be at that debate or not. But still, they came. Now, um, it, it, it just shows to us as Nigerians that. Atiku Abubakar is more interested in taking the power from President Buhari than his service to the people. Because if you do not regard the people, I don't know how you want to lead them. Uh -oh. So if you if, if you come into a debate sorry, and Sh there are other candidates there. Sorry, Sheo, let me let me let me hold you there for a bit. I mean you're aware President Buhari didn't show up for the debate in 2015, right? Yet oh, he won. This is this is 2019. I wouldn't even want to go there because the different dynamics entirely. How the policy was at that time is different from now. Now, on the other side of of of, of President Buhari, I also feel that for an event that an invitation has been extended long before now, suddenly you tell us that you have a campaign. Now, the next moment, some people say that um, he has granted interviews. Now, please tell me how interviews is the same as a debate.